Michigan winters can be brutal. And there are a lot of work, but there's a lot to love from our outdoor sports to the beauty of the Great Lakes. And sometimes the best way to see the ice is from above. While last winter's total ice cover on Lake Michigan was significantly lower than normal, the ice along the shoreline was still spectacular. And now it appears more people than ever are seeing it. Social media is a huge component of that. When we share ice phenomena on our social media channels, whether it's the blue ice up in the Straits of Mackinac or the pancake ice in places like Grand Haven, um, it just really goes viral and people are uh, really excited and I, I think a lot of people don't see that in, in their own real life and so uh, ice, I think it's probably always been there but it's much more visible now in ways that it's never been before. Ice caves were one of the most popular attractions on Lake Michigan, mostly up north near Sleeping Bear Dunes, west of Traverse City. But those curious ice balls drew crowds too, as did ice-covered lighthouses right here in West Michigan. We got a surprise in 2014 when the most ice ever was recorded on Lake Michigan with coverage over 93%. Those ice records go back more than 40 years. What to expect this winter? More great ice viewing on Lake Michigan, but perhaps a late start because of this late fall warmth and above normal lake water temperatures. I'm Storm Teammate Meteorologist Kyle Underwood, 24-Hour News 8.